the hardest thing to give away and the last thing on your mind today it always goes to those who don't deserve it's the opposite of how you feel when the pain they cause is just too real takes everything you have to say the word forgiveness It's Matthew West, Forgiveness, Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. Uh, gotta Just wanted to do a quick show on uh, different, a couple techniques on healing. Uh, do a quick kind of, uh, just a, three really good practices to uh, basically try to work on. If you're really trying to work on sort of healing or maybe a past relationship, uh, maybe a current relationship for that matter, or maybe you've got some sort of hardship with a coworker, with a friend, whatever the case is. Got a couple great techniques, and then I've got what I've called before, and I've shared it ah, way back when, and I just recently shared it in a comment with someone. A thing that I was called, taught, anyway, was called uh, astral letters, and I will share that technique. That technique has been extremely helpful for me. I have been able to turn things around within hours um, by using this te- technique, and it's just a, it's a beautiful technique. So I'll finish off with that, and then I'll even do a little example snippet of it uh, in the show notes below. Hopefully that kind of helps, uh, and it's like I said, it's a very awesome technique. I've literally uh, the one that always stands out in my mind is I was having problems with my mom years ago, years ago, and it was uh, it was definitely not getting along. I'd already moved out. It was kind of just one of those things, and I wrote a bunch of them out, did my standard, read them out loud, burned them. It's kind of how it works. Uh, I probably did five or six versions of it. wasn't crazy amounts, right? And literally within like an hour, she had called me. And we pretty much patched everything up and everyone was uh, groovy and happy. And honestly, it just it's worked well. And I've used it a, a number of other times whenever I've been frustrated with, uh, with a person, uh, especially when it's someone I love and care about. Uh, and it generally is a lot better to try to get behind that. So a couple really good practices just to get in the habit of doing is when it comes to healing, one of the first places we always want to look at is ourself. Uh, frequently, a lot of us are extremely judgmental of ourself. And that's one of the things that we really need to spend some time and, and work at. And I've, some uh, people have shared comments, um, you know, looking in the mirror and saying your affirmations to yourself. But this also kind of applies to where you want to maybe look in the mirror and forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for whatever it is that you're judging yourself for. Forgive yourself for whatever shortcoming you feel that you've got. Whatever it is that you're beating yourself up for, forgive yourself. You are perfect as you are. Keep working through it. If there's changes that need to be made, then great. Make some changes. Not a big deal. No reason to beat ourselves up when there's just some changes that are needed or maybe some sort of development or growth or any of those kinds of things. But really, trying to be good to ourselves, trying to be kind to ourselves. First off, if you don't love yourself, how can you expect anyone else to love you? It starts from inside. Everything starts from inside, much like the show I just did yesterday. It all starts from the inside. We are the creators of our reality, and that that comes from us. So it's very important to try to work on that self-judgment aspect of ourselves. Now, of course, if we're going to stop judging ourselves, well, you'd kind of almost honestly think that the second thing we'd maybe want to consider is to stop judging others. We don't know what others are going through. We don't know what's going on in their life. We don't know what it's like to walk in their shoes. So anytime we've ever, you know, a great example, text someone, they don't text back quick enough. We instantly go, well, they probably are just ignoring me or they probably just decided they don't want to talk to me. That's a judgment. And in most cases, it's going to be incorrect. So stop judging other people. Give them the benefit of the doubt. They probably are trying their best. They're probably working towards whatever goals they have in their lives and are trying to be better people as well, right? You can't judge everybody else because we don't know what's going on inside of them. We don't know if they're just having a bad day. We don't know what is happening on their side. We don't know if maybe they've got a sick child at home. Maybe someone just passed away recently. Maybe there's something going on in their world that just doesn't make room for you at the moment. It's okay for people to be busy. Just like each and every one of us have been through periods in our lives where we were busy, maybe someone texted you and you didn't respond back immediately, right? Because sometimes we're tied up in things. Sometimes the phone's in the other room and we don't realize it. How many times have you guys left your phone in the other room and you're like, 
where's my, where's my phone? Ah, crap. I left it in the bedroom, right? Like how many times does that happen? So, you know, you not expecting anything. Maybe you're focused and working and busy away on something. And then you're like, huh, where's my, oh crap. It's not even in this room. Right. And then you go into the other room and you see you've missed five text messages. You see, you've got three emails. You're like, ah, right. So again, let's try to give people the benefit of the doubt, but certainly judging others is sending bad mojo, bad, bad energy, bad vibes. And it's definitely not helping your situation at all. Now, the final real piece, you know, you're not judging yourself. You're not judging others. Another really important thing to do is to truly start to try to see the divine in all people. To see the true nature, the true love, the true fact that each person is perfect and whole unto themselves much like we are perfect and whole unto ourselves. Trying to give credit where credit is due, trying to be the example, trying to be the shining light for other people by being kind to them, by leaving the judgment away, by realizing that they are good people regardless of what they're trying to do. Everybody is trying to make the best decisions they have available to them with what information they're given. I mean, every one of us is selfish in our own rights. We're worried about number one, and should be, or we're worried about our family around us, which we should be. And if you're not part of that little circle, well, you know, maybe sometimes you're going to be on the outside looking in. That's okay. Give them the credit that they deserve. They're perfect whole beings that are trying to move through life just like we are. They're not infallible. They certainly will make mistakes. They will occasionally hurt our feelings. They will occasionally maybe challenge our trust. That's okay. That is part of it. None of us are perfect ourselves, right? We cannot expect anyone to be better than we are. So try really hard to just instantly give people the benefit of the doubt and realize that they're also trying to do the best they can, much like yourself. I always get that backwards. There we go. So I want to talk about this, um, this wonderful technique that I call uh, uh, astral letters. <laughs> I'm like drawing a blank. Astral letters are a very cool thing. I learned it back when I was um, when I had my teacher, if you will, it was eons ago, and I was very involved in a in a in a spiritual group. We had a we had a really really cool uh, meditation uh, uh, circle, if you will. I called it the Circle of Light. It was very cool. It was down in Dana Point. It was really really awesome. I was involved with my my girlfriend and I, and it was her mom and our teacher that actually opened the shop. And we were just very involved from the very beginning. And I was actually the only guy in the class. It was all ladies. So I was like the one dude that managed to make it into this wonderful goddess energy that I was uh, very fortunate to be a part of and learned an enormous about, amount about channeling, about uh, spirituality, about uh, our higher selves, about crystals, about healing, like all sorts of really, really cool stuff. And... I learned this wonderful technique called astral letters. Now, I learned this too because there was a thing, and I was involved in this eons ago, but I was involved with clearing karma for the planet, for people, for everybody. So there was a process I went through, and it worked for me too, don't, uh, don't get me wrong, but I was very involved with trying to clear karma for the planet. So there was a lot of these little, uh, we're talking to the Akashic Records, so we're basically trying to wipe records from there. And I know I'm getting into all sorts of crazy stuff that, People might be going, what? You know, I, again, I'm just, I'm just sharing a little bit to how this concept came about. And I believe this is probably one of the most profound techniques that I've ever used for trying to heal something between me and another individual. And the reason I brought up the Akashic Records and all that clearing karma is because this has some very similar verbiage in it, very similar word choices that are much like when I was clearing karma. So I think also... There's a little bit of power to these words being spoken in this way. So I've got two examples of how you can use this. So one is if someone's upsetting you, you're mad at them. They're, they've hurt you. They've hurt your feelings. They've done something to betray your trust. Whatever the case is, here's the basic. And it's very short, mind you. Literally, it's like two to three sentences. It's very short, very sweet. What you do is you write it out handwrite it. It's usually the best way in my mind. And you can put like many of them on the same page, whatever, right? Write out as many as you feel compelled to do or that you feel inspired to do. And you write them out, you read them out loud, and then you burn them, literally burn them. So if you got a fireplace or if maybe if you got a 
like a big bowl or something that's like metal, like a stainless steel bowl. Because if you don't have a fireplace or you don't have any place like a barbecue or someplace where you can safely burn it, uh, you can shred it if you want. But it's just really better to burn. It's the releasing. It's the letting it go for energy. It's converting it from one thing to another. It's it's just a very powerful. It's a very powerful concept. That was my dad calling me. That's pretty well. Hey, dad. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very powerful concept. So here's the two examples. This is one if you're someone's actually angry with you. And so the way that can start off is, dear so-and-so, uh, so-and-so's higher self, I bless, release, and erase the anger that you caused me. I forgive you for hurting me. I love you. Love me or love Dan, or love Sue, or love Grace, or whatever your name is. Very simple. Dear so-and-so's higher self, I bless, release, and erase the anger you caused me. I forgive you for hurting me. I love you. Love, Dan. The other side of this is, and I recommend doing both sides of this, because I really don't ever believe there's one side to uh, these arguments, right? Whenever there's a, a problem between people, oftentimes... We, we played our part. They may have hurt our feelings. We probably maybe were goading them a little. Maybe we we're poking them. Maybe we found that little magic button that just drives them insane and they finally snapped. So I think it's also good to look at it from the side of forgiving ourselves for hurting them or for maybe being frustrating to them. So the example I got here is, dear so-and-so's higher self, I bless, release, and erase the times I have frustrated you. I was having a hard time seeing your emotional needs. I love you. Love, Dan. Seriously. That simple. The part of it that's very of the Akashic Records cleansing, karma cleaning, if you will, is the bless, release, and erase. Super powerful. You're blessing it. You're releasing it. You're letting go of it. And it's erased. Hence the burning, too. You're removing it from the Akashic Records, from your consciousness, from your joint consciousness. You're literally, so when you say these words, mean it from that standpoint, I'm blessing this because it needs to be blessed from the light, from love, from whatever, from higher source, from whatever deity that you pray to, whatever the case is, that's who's blessing it. I'm releasing it. I'm letting it go. And I'm going to erase this. And you acknowledge that you've played a part in this. You acknowledge they've played a part in this. And in both cases, you're forgiving them and yourself for these actions. Never once are you asking them to forgive you. Never once are you saying that they need to say sorry. They don't. None of this needs to happen. It's 100% on you and on your side of things because it's bothering you. This is your problem, not theirs. No matter what they've done, it's worthy of forgiveness if we wish to continue a loving relationship. If you don't, then just push them out of your life and don't worry about it. I mean, don't hold anger against people forever because it's not a healthy way to feel and live. But there's certainly no reason to keep people close to you that are damaging. So if someone's not a healthy person and doesn't treat you well, there's nothing wrong with moving them out of your life and moving forward with your life. But... If they are someone that you would like to continue having a relationship with, healing is required. It's going to be needed. It's going to be necessary. You're definitely going to want to do that. So let's try to make sure that we're incorporating these concepts into our life. So again, self-judgment, don't want it, right? Be good to yourself. Love yourself. See yourself for the, the goodness that you are. See yourself for all the things that you're improving in your life. Give yourself the credit. Give yourself the pat on the back. Stop judging other people. You don't know. You don't know anything about what they're going through. You may know them really well, and you still don't know what's going on in their day-to-day, -day, the thought processes, what it's like when they go home and you're not with them, all the things that they are involved with. And try really hard to see the perfection in everybody because all of us are doing our best. And when you've got times that you can and want to make a difference in a relationship that's maybe not real good, the astral letters are extremely powerful. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully it makes a difference for all you guys out there. Going to be going out with a great song by Jason Gray. Remind me who I am. Stan Radio style. I don't want to be. Remind me who I am. In the loneliest places. When I can't remember 